It's summer tool as well then, isn't it? Inshallah. <laughs> we got Hamza again for an episode of answering the hate comments, Hamza. Indeed. You're smiling now. I am. He won't be smiling for very long. Because Allah says, respond to evil with that which is better. Right? And also, I really like hate comments because sometimes the hate comments have some truth in them and you could learn. And ikhlas, sincerity is that you learn from those who hate you. Alright, we've got a comment from Sunny C. When Muslim talk about science logic, I just want to puke. Well, if the Christians who took over Islamic Spain have found all of the science that was developed by mostly Muslim scientists puked at that time, you wouldn't be writing on a computer now. More and more people are leaving Islam. The worst religion of all, mate. Okay, that's a logical fallacy. Just because a lot of people don't like something, it doesn't mean it's not true. So in actual fact, all she's proven is that she is fallacious in her reasoning. To my religious friends, please, next time you get sick or injured, I hope you don't, do not go to any hospital or doctor, just pray your God, does not really matter which one, and forget about science. Regards. Yeah, that's quite a poor comment to be honest because the first hospitals were actually Muslim hospitals and the Prophet Muhammad upon whom be peace said for every disease there is a cure so search for the cure. Interstellar Cool says he's playing on London Dawa movement says London dumbass movement. Yeah that's another logical fallacy it's called an ad hominem meaning that you're just basically playing the man not the ball you're cutting someone down Cussing the football player, thinking that you're going to win the game. There you go, Interstellar. Stop doing that. Joey Moldano says, Hamza talking BS again. Well, I would say to Mr. Moldano, you're talking to me? Nice. <laughs> wow. You said go with the Quran over truth. Just wow. I never said that. That's called a misrepresentation or a straw man. He's building a misrepresentation of what I said and knocking it down thinking he's won an argument. But I've never said take the Quran over the truth because the Quran is the truth. Hamza Sotsis is the same as any other religious idiot. Again, logical fallacy, doesn't know how to reason. It's got an ad hominem. What a condescending Muslim idiot. Thank goodness, eventually, even these people will diminish and disappear in an enlightened world. In the meantime, just look down on them with pity and amusement. What have you got to say to David Richards? I would say to him that we really care for him and that he obviously has some kind of psychodynamic problems. I'm going to inquire, hopefully, into his relationship with his parents because there's probably something wrong there because what he said is probably a symptom of our underlying cause. Fair enough, so you need a doctor, mate. A prime example of how religion can turn people to absolute stupidity. Hamza, you are a brainless fool. Aha ha 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 ha. Absolutely, that's what my postgraduate tutor said when I passed my postgraduate in philosophy. <laughs> of course science can be wrong. And of course Dawkins accepts that. It's just that you Muslims cannot be wrong because it's all about faith. Right? The Qur'an is all about questions. The Qur'an evokes thinking, makes us ponder and reflect and think. In actual fact, the Qur'an teaches us how to think. So it's not about blind faith at all actually. We believe it. The Qur'an is from God for many, many reasons. Quote, I would really love for him to elaborate what those reasons are because besides blind faith, I have no idea what those reasons are. Okay, well just because you don't know something or you're ignorant about something, it doesn't mean there isn't an answer. We have lots of good reasons, let's go to onereason.org or go to my website hamzadzorzis.com I'll pick the scientists over the imaginary God always. How the hell can you have it any other way? For beep's sake! Well, exclamation mark. Well firstly, God is not imaginary. Secondary, secondary, or secondly, he's basically assuming that you have either science or God. But that means he knows nothing about science and nothing about theology. Let me just summarize it in the words of a philosopher of science. He says, 
to believe that science leads to atheism is to get high marks for enthusiasm, low marks for logic. There you go, mate. Low, low marks for logic. Absolutely. Somebody explain evolution and science to this guy for the hundredth time. Okay, explain it to me. If there is a god, then what's up with this god making this? Look up world's deadliest skin conditions. Look up necrotizing facetus. And there is so much more of these types of evil that if there was a god, who would like that god? Well, this is the problem of evil and suffering and it's undermined very very simply. Just because there's evil in the world, it doesn't mean God doesn't exist. They're assuming that only God is good and all-powerful and that's it. But God is not only good and all-powerful. In our tradition, Allah is also Al-Hakim. He is the wise. He has the totality of knowledge and wisdom. He has the picture. We just have a pixel. So there are reasons behind these things. And if there's reasons, then it doesn't undermine the fact that God is good and powerful and allows evil to happen in the first place. Be the wisdom behind flesh-eating bacteria though. I don't know, just because you can't, you don't know the wisdom, it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Okay. That's again an, another logical fallacy, it's an argument from ignorance. I can't see the wisdom, therefore there is no wisdom. That's actually fallacious. I don't know the reasons or the wisdom behind turbulence and the reason I have to sit down and buckle up on the plane just because the pilot told me so, but I actually understand the fact that he has greater wisdom in this particular area than I have. So we, we always submit to someone's higher authority all the time, whether it's medicine, on the plane, science, whatever the case may be. So now when it comes to God, you want all the details, but God is a far more greater authority than you by definition. So for you to try and search for any answers would be fallacious from that point of view. <laughs> Go where the science takes you, then Middle East people choose to go nowhere. Muslims are not known for having scientists. Well, he has a very short memory. I mean, because most of the greatest scientists that facilitated modern science were actually Muslim or Arab. Now, what's interesting here is he's exposing a political problem. We do have a political problem. We don't have good leadership in the Muslim or Arab world and they don't create institutions that promote science in the right way. But previously they did and that's why we had the likes of Ibn Sina, who wrote the book The Canon of Medicine, which was used for 600 years in Europe. Laughable, to be honest. Dot, dot, dot. Share the joke. Hamza is a moron. That's true. Sometimes I can be, bro. And you are more qualified to speak about evolution than Professor Richard Dawkins. Mmm, I think not. Richard Dawkins is not an authority from an academic point of view concerning evolution anyway. Actually, biology professor in Oxford, wasn't Yeah, it? I know, but there are a lot of biology professors that look down at Richard Dawkins because he's not considered as a kind of continuing academic, which means producing peer-reviewed journals and engaging in continuous research. Some have even argued and called him a uh, journalist and not a scientist. Hamza is a tool. Well, he's right. I hope I'm a tool. I'm just a rearrangement of carbon that Allah uses to manifest His mercy and His love and His guidance. Guess I'm a tool as well then, isn't it? Inshallah. He only accepts science that suits his religious belief, so the acceptance is partial until it contradicts the narrative. Not true. I accept that science is changing. I accept the science that we have, the empirical confirmations that we have so far. Some of those confirmations may go against Islamic narratives or Islamic scripture. That's not a problem. But they're both two sources of knowledge. I believe one is divine and I could show good reasons for that. The other is a human endeavor. And I can still accept the Quran to be divine and have good reasons for that. And at the same time, accept that this theory or this model or this scientific theory or model is the best that we have from a human limited point of view. I don't have to now accept that into my creed. So it's a it's a moot point. The point is moot, as they say. What the hell does that mean? Thanks to Hamza, he helped me become an ex Muslim. Great job, Hamza. But I would basically humbly ask you to reconsider. And if I've done and said anything wrong, let me know. Maybe I'll clarify or say sorry and move forward and we can have a discussion over tea in a very peaceful, nice way. Hamza, 
Why do you think you're receiving hate? Well, I think that's the kind of inevitable reaction when you actually try to talk about something that you believe in. I believe Western Churchill said, if you don't have any haters, then you're not doing anything right, something like that. And even from the Islamic spiritual tradition, when the Prophet Muhammad upon whom be peace conveyed the peaceful and merciful message of Islam to the wider society, he was hated. So it's like the sunnah, it's like the way of Allah that if you stand and you convey your truth, you're going to be hated. But at the same time, we have to be balanced and nuanced and humble and realize that maybe some of that hatred is because we've done mistakes. And I appreciate as someone who's learned the hard way, I've done many mistakes and had to clarify and move forward and improve and teach others not to repeat my mistakes as well. There you go mate. Jazakallah for joining us once again on Smile to Jannah. Always a pleasure Hamza uh, Sotsis. Buy his book Divine Revelation. Divine Reality. Divine Reality. There you go. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi. Bubarakatuhum.